Happy Thursday, everybody. We're having another episode of the 10,000 Club. Right. Uh, we're festive today. Doug's got- we, I don't think we are. I think you are. You oh, are. Nice you lipstick. Are. You're ready um, for that party tonight. You're ready for yes, that party. Yes, tonight. Christmas party. But I'm joined with the awesome Tracy Johnson and Doug Hale. And yeah. um, we are here to talk about note sending or thank you notes and the importance and we actually have a great article um, that's going to be put into Facebook uh, for you to be able to print off and review and it, it's actually really great it helps um, when you have a listing and things like that um, how to I don't know if you're like me but I, I look at a card and I'm like oh what do I write this kind of helps you guide you to do that um, and we're also here, hopefully we're going to see you guys at the Christmas party tonight at six o'clock. We're looking forward to it. Sorry, I had to wear the hat and in the Christmas sweater. Oh, cute. Um, but so we'll, we'll get started. So Tracy, how do you, or what, what do you do to send thank you notes? Well, I think, I feel like we talk about this a lot when we're together, but, um, connecting, Kind of goes with what we talked about last week and that we're not in the business of closings, but you're in the business of conversations or connecting. So um, I could reach over at my desk here. I'll do it real fast. Um, but I always have a nice group of cards at the corner of my desk that I try to pull out and connect with people. Um, yesterday's note was just to somebody that I know from my church that just got diagnosed with cancer. And he was on my mind all day long, it had nothing to do with real estate, but it had everything to do with connecting and just caring for people. In this case, somebody who just had a diagnosis, but yeah, just, uh, you know, finding ways to connect with people. And today the art of writing has really been lost. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with connecting with people on Facebook because I do it. Um, I do it all the time. But writing and receiving that in the mail, there's something extra that's received. You give it when you write it. And then when someone receives it, I feel like there's something extra special that's out of our control when they open that mailbox. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. They uh, have to think about doing it. And it's kind of like the unexpected game, right? I mean, you get something in the yeah. mail. I mean, it's like, oh, my gosh, that person took the time. It was, it, it was that meaningful to them that they took the time, whether it's just a few minutes, the, the, it comes across way different. Like you care, you're all about that meeting or that that time that you were with them. And so again, that goes a long, long way. It really does. Yeah, I think it's a special touch. And um, you know, if you uh, we were talking earlier, a listing you you go to a listing appointment. It's actually a great follow up. And um, something that I do is I'll send a card saying, hey, it was great visiting with you. And I'll include my business card in there. That's another way for me to, first of all, um, show you know that I'm following up, but second of all, to get my, my name in front of them again. And um, I like going to the mailbox and opening up a card. I feel like somebody took the time because you actually have to take the time and it doesn't get lost in the mail. You, you actually have to open it, you look at it and it puts you on their mind and I just think it's a great way to, like Tracy said, to connect. Uh, we contributed to our grandson's uh, band in Zealand. And that little guy, he sent grandma and grandpa a thank you card. He even, I don't know if you can see it, but he drew a little basketball player on it. It's him. <laughs> and thanks grandma and grandpa for contributing. It made me want to cry. I, I <laughs> love that. And you know, starting out young doing that, um, I just I just think it's a great thing to to get in the habit of doing. Yeah. yeah. And so I think something you said too, Cindy, and not to kind of equate that to, to the business piece of what we're all about, but um the idea of lead generating through this yeah. thank you card. And and nobody really even thinks about that. You're thinking, hey, you're doing something nice, you're taking time, you're you're mentioning the conversation that you had or the meeting that you had. But man, the life, does that go a long way with somebody saying, hey, wait a minute, you know, a month from now, top of mind, right? We all want to be top of mind when someone's thinking about buying or selling. They'll remember that you took the time to give the, the, give the card 
uh, even if it's just something sweet that you said in the card, hey, yep. great to connect. Looking forward to seeing you in the future. Some, something relating to real estate. Not, I'm not saying all thank you cards have to be all about our real estate industry, but it does, it does go a long ways when you're sending that card and a month from now, someone calls you out of the blue that you didn't expect, yeah. right? And said, you know something? I got this card from you about a month and a half ago. And that meant a lot. I mean, it hit yeah. me right where I was at at the time I was at. And I really think you'd be perfect to help me sell mom's house. Something yeah. like that. And I love what Tracy does, having that stack of cards. I, I'm going to oh, do sure. that. I think that's a great yeah. habit. Because yep. um, I, I like sending cards. I send cards to agents that refer um, other clients to me out of area in that. I send them a thank you card with a with a business card. It's just, I, I think it's just a, a great follow-up. And again, you're getting your name out there. And um, I like this article um, that we were talking about. It's called 12 thank you, uh, thank you Notes Guaranteed to Generate Leads. The thing I like about it is it's easy. It, it's quick ideas. Thank you after giving a, a thank you note after giving a listing presentation. Um, thank you for not getting the listing. Uh, we talked to that at one of our segments. I did that. You know, I sat and said, hey, you know, good luck with your listing. I, I really appreciated meeting you. I included my business card because um, yeah. you never know. Yeah. I'll tell you, I went on a listing appointment about, I don't know, probably at least four or five years ago. It was actually the former president of Kmart. And I remember Ooh. I was really nervous going and I had gotten referred by somebody at Huntington Bank to go on this listing appointment. And um his son-in-law was a um, um, had just become I don't know really high up at Huntington as well. So I was referred by a loan officer there, and one of the higher up uh, people in uh, in lending at Huntington ha had said to this loan officer, "Hey, who do you know that you could send over to my father-in-law's?" So he also came to the listing appointment. So it's the former president of Kmart. Yeah. This big wig from Huntington Bank and the, little girl, sweating. From, the little girl from Bridgeport, <laughs> Michigan, you know. Yeah. But anyway, but what I did after I just was myself, I was very honest, I had a really nice listing appointment, had a beautiful tour of the home. And afterward, I sent a card and they told me that the only reason I got a call back was that I sent a follow up card. And his father in law was very impressed by that and that no one else had followed up that got a seat at the table. So the thing that got me got, got me the listing was I followed up. In this case, I called and I sent a handwritten note. So those kinds of things can make a really big impression on people. We have no idea what's going to happen to them when we give of ourselves in such a way. But Absolutely. not getting the listing, getting the listing, meeting a buyer for the first time. Think of all the different ways we can be saying thank yous in our conversations and in our interactions with the people that that get put in front of us as real estate professionals for sure yeah, for sure. yeah. that's um i love that um yeah and even you know we're talking about lenders you know if you sit down with a lender or even if you meet um an appraiser you go to a presentation it's just a nice touch hey it was great i loved your presentation thanks so much for sharing right and it just takes a minute and if you get in the habit just like Tracy has that stack of cards. I think it's more getting in the habit. And like you were talking about follow-up, I think we all struggle with follow-up. Um, I, I, I want to do a good job at follow-up, but sometimes you get busy, you get distracted. And yeah. I think if you get in the habit of mm -hmm. after you have a listing appointment, send that card right away, send it next day, put it on your to-do list. Yeah. Or after you meet somebody like that, just kind of get in the habit. And I think it'll, it'll come more natural. And and if you're like me, you can have your little notes here. Hey, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. But I think something you said early on in this conversation too, Tracy, when you said this is a lost art, it is, isn't it? I mean, I, the idea of getting a card in the mail that's actually, somebody actually took the time to fill in the card. It's not a generic card that came from, you know, the fact that you bought a pair of pants at a store and they said thank you for your business this was a handwritten note that all of a sudden in my mind it stops traffic that tells me that person really cared that was really great so i think it, i'm, I'm going to say the word lost art because i think more and more people are getting away from that where i think more and more agents 
should stay right in there and keep doing that because it it really shows that you do care. Yeah. Right. And you know, if you start to 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 do this, to write these notes, you are actually connecting with people. If you're a new to industry agent and your your yeah. database is not very deep, maybe you talk to an inspector today, maybe you talk to an appraiser, maybe you met two new buyers, maybe you spoke to your banker on the phone. I don't care what it is. Write notes to these people, thank for them for their time. Whatever the interaction is, you can just acknowledge it. But now you've made a connection to the person in a new way. Add their name and phone number to your database as a new person to connect with. And the more you do these things, the more you're out there, you're involved in things. You can't be an agent at home. You need to be out in the community in connecting with people. So find ways to get involved in your local community. Um, I've got this young guy. Um, Justin, he is in Cadillac and he coaches baseball. He start, he liked baseball in high school. I think he was a really good ball player. So he had some interest there, but he got involved in the local high school baseball team. So now he's meeting all of these people. And guess what? These are potential clients because yeah. there's, you know, I mean, when you're 18, you become an adult pretty quickly after you graduate high school, right? Yeah. So it's not very far down the road that these interactions with these people become buyers and the, all of their families and the other people who are there, extended families that come, um, you find ways to advertise when you're involved in those local community things. You know, I can remember paying for banners on the fence. So the football, you know, stadium um, or football field, I should say, at my local high school. And, you know, there are lots of different ways to connect that you have no idea. And then you just show up, you shake hands, you meet people because you're there. Yeah, for sure. Well, I remember when I um, joined Five Star early on, I was impressed big time. This box comes to my door with a with a welcome card in it, signed by everybody, you know, signed by some of the staff and that. And I thought, God, what a nice touch. They sent a card. And those things, I mean, if you're, you know, if you ever read love languages, gifts are my thing. And um, I got that in the door and I thought, I, I love this company already. This is just, this is just such a nice touch. And um, that's what's so great. You know, I think Five Star does it the pro way. And, um, but yeah, that was like my first, I was like, what, what do you call it? Aha moment. Or yeah. I was like, yes, yeah, for sure. this is, I like it here already. <laughs> Well, and it's Christmas right now. So what kinds of ways can we be connecting with people at Christmas um, as a way to just say thank you or to acknowledge them? Yeah, well, it's the perfect time of year, really. Um, and it's kind of nice, like you said, Tracy, out, be out and about. If you're out shopping, you know, be out in public places. You run into people you haven't run into in a long time. Um, some people you don't want to, but you do. And usually that's when you have your baseball cap on and no makeup and everything, but hey, they relate. Um, but it's a great way for conversation. And again, you can, you know, follow up. Hey, great seeing you at the store. Great visiting with you. And yeah, I saw this great, I don't know if Doug, whether or not what kinds of things you, how you acknowledge your clients at Christmas. I did something at Thanksgiving. I usually do something in the fall so that it's not sort of lost. But I saw this thing on Facebook and I loved it. And I shared it with a few different agents and I'd love to share it with you guys today too. I might've shared it with you guys on the broker support team, but it was a little post and it had um, gift wrap and attached to the gift wrap was a little note. And it was something to stop by your clients and drop off um, some Christmas wrap or holiday wrap yes. and with a little note. And this one said, as we wrap up 2022. I want uh, I wanted you to know what a bless what a blessing and a gift you are. Uh, what a blessing and a gift. Knowing you have uh, knowing you have been have a blessed holiday season. And then it was the realtor's name with a cute little bow. And I sent it to one of our agents, and she sent it back to me last night that said, "Thank you so much for this great idea." And she took it and she made something really beautiful out of it. You'll never be able to. See Oh, how cute. But it, it says it says joy on each one of the things with just a really beautiful note from her. And um, what an inexpensive way to stop by your client's house and just drop something at the front door that they'll then sit over the next coming weeks and use the paper 
that you've given them as a gift of love and gratefulness and thankfulness to then wrap the gifts. I get all, you know, I always get emotional about these things. I got to tie, tie it to something. But I think that's really, really, really nice. And I don't think it's an inexpensive, I think it's an inexpensive way to acknowledge um, and to be grateful. Yeah, it, funny, Tracy, that's what I did for Christmas for my clients. I had, a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can. No, it's, but yeah, it's, it's thank you for helping me wrap up a great year of serving you and your referrals. Happy holidays. Had my name, five star, with wrapping paper. And it's a yep. small gesture. And I love what you said. Why they're wrapping those presents, they know that they got that gift wrap from me. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I had little gift ta tags in, in, a, in a bag of candy and, um, and I'm not very creative. I am not a creative person. So yes, I did borrow the idea. Yeah. And well, you know what? I, I never have a lot of unique, uh, ideas of my own, but I, I oftentimes look at what someone else has done and I can say, wow, I like that. And yeah. then I can take it and put my own twist on it. And I would encourage, you know, all of our agents to do the same thing. I mean, this, this is a great, a great little thing. But you may have something else that you like to do, but to to acknowledge and to be grateful is really a wonderful way to have a business. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you could do little candy canes with your business card or, you know, something with a bow and, and all that. So yeah, past years, I've done wreaths and it's kind of fun when you show up with your card because I'm writing those out as we speak. I'm a little late getting them out. But, Me too. <laughs> but, but yet show up at the front door. And I, I make a point every Christmas just to, usually a couple of weeks before, just to be at the front door. You know, I'll, I'll ask questions like, how's, how's the house? How's everything going? You know, how's the family? Just again, just being there and giving just a quick gift and a quick card. Um, boy, that goes a long, long way. And uh, again, just, it's been kind of my practice year in and year out. And uh, I have people that, Talk about it all year long. It's great. So uh, it's fun. Yeah, so anything it you can do to keep keep those touches, even after the sale, down the road, again, showing that you care. Again, this is all about that being grateful and those thank yous. And you know that. Writing those out, taking the necessary time. I will tell you, most agents aren't doing that, guys. They're not doing that. Right. So do it. Do it. Yeah, you right. have an opportunity to set, you, set, set yourself apart from everyone else. So sure. don't miss the opportunity. Um, we'll post in here um, this uh, this note on thankfulness, the 12 thank you notes um, that will help guarantee leads. Just gives you ideas of ways you can connect with people. And then I also think we should um, pop in that picture of the gift wrap too, is just as an idea as you're finishing out your ear. So we'll oh, pop yeah. it into the, the classroom page. So. I love that. Well, well I hope okay. to see you guys tonight. Yeah, we have a Christmas party. I hope we see everybody there. It's going to be great. And it's at six o'clock. And we'll be there to greet everybody, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I can't, I can't talk too much longer, you guys. Yeah, I got I to go, go get ready for the party. Yeah, you oh. got to get your hairs did. Okay, well, sounds great. Tracy and I have to decide what we're going to wear. I haven't still decided. I, I don't think I can wear my little. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, thank you, baby. All right. Oh, See you guys. guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. Be encouraged. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Blessings.